Hello, it's Susan Douglas Scott here, Chair of the Board of NHS Golden Jubilee. And uh, I've got a smile on my face because I'm, I'm on today being able to talk and, uh, as we start to lighten the news a little bit and enter into a time where we, we start to gently and safely move out of lockdown. And for us at the Golden Jubilee, that means that we can change the visiting arrangements, thank goodness, because we really believe that people's visitors, their friends and their close family, whoever the, the, their visitor might be, are an integral part of the, the healing circle that's going to help them get better and recover from whatever procedure they've, they've been in at the Golden Jubilee for. So it's been a real sadness to not be allow those people to come in and give that support to our patients. So that doesn't mean that it's going to be a free for all. Unfortunately, we can't say that. You know, it's still going to be a situation where we will ask you to take precautions because as we know, COVID has not yet gone away. We're in the midst of a mass vaccination programme that is not yet complete. But we are beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. More and more people are now vaccinated with at least one dose of the vaccine. And also the, is the, the R number has come down enough to allow the Scottish Government to make the decision to enable us to start moving away out of our houses and having some staycations and to be able to visit our loved ones in hospital. So we would ask that you adhere to an appointment system that we've set up to keep everybody safe. And of course, the usual things around, please wash your hands. Wash your hands when you, you come to the hospital. Wash your hands as you're leaving the hospital. Wash your hands when you get home. You, you can't wash your hands too much. It's really, really important. And obviously the use of alcohol rub is really helpful also. And we would also ask that you make your appointments so that we're not inundated with a whole lot of people. We will be asking our patients to nominate one person to be their visitor, but that person can change. So it's just a case of communicating who the visitor is going to be. And then we will stage visits so that we've not got too many people in the ward or in one space at any one time. The use of masks is, of course, mandatory. And we have guided ways of pathways throughout the hostel for people to follow. So you'll see an arrow system guiding you where to go and where safe when you come in to, to have your visit. But as I say, we are so happy that you're able to be here to take care of your loved one, to give them that bit of comfort that they might need at a challenging time in their life when they're in having a procedure. But I hope you realise that we have endeavoured to look after our patients with the greatest of care that we always have at the Jubilee and that has continued. And I've heard so many good news stories over, over the period of time of how well cared for people have felt during that, that their, their stay with us. But it has been isolating for people you know, everybody around them wearing masks, they can't see their faces, not being able to see their loved ones other than maybe through an iPhone or an iPad. So I am delighted that we can welcome you back as our valued visitors to the Golden Jubilee. And I hope that you continue to stay well and to stay safe, that, that you are maybe one of the lucky ones that's had one or both of your doses of vaccine. And if not, that you're, you get that very soon. And enjoy your careful unlocking of coming back out into the big world again, uh, staycations, eating out, seeing family and friends. But above all, remember to adhere by the guidelines and to stay safe, stay well for all of us. It's been lovely to speak to you and I'll look forward to with speaking to you with more positive news as we move forward into the easing of lockdown.